What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? Hope you're having a fantastic day. We have seriously a great day of tech news for you. A lot of positive stuff has come out today and then a couple of questions. So without further ado, let's jump into the tech news. Our first story of the day has to do with the Galaxy S23 and S23 Plus, the front camera. After three years, it's finally getting an upgrade. Now this information is coming out of Galaxy Club. You can see from the headline that the S23 will probably get an improved front camera. And they're talking about the S23 and S23 Plus saying early information reached us that Samsung is considering giving the S23, S23 Plus a front camera with a 12 megapixel sensor so that it would be the first resolution upgrade in the top model since 2019. So overall fantastic news if you love taking selfie photos and you're gonna upgrade to the next one, you're gonna get a slightly better camera, or at least it should be, than previous generation. So really, really good news. Next up, as you can see from the headline, the Z Flip 4 Bespoke Edition gets new colors and wider launch. And Sam Mobile goes on to say that they can now confirm that the Bespoke Edition will be offered for the Galaxy Z Flip Four as well. There will be more color combinations on offer than last time. Samsung will also get the Z Flip 4 Bespoke Edition more widely available in additional markets. So if you love to customize the colors of your phone and maybe have a different color from the top versus the bottom and some other tricks and up their sleeve that you can do with the colors, you're gonna be able to do that. More colors, more places to order this from in terms of like, you'll be able to order it in different countries. So again, fantastic news to see this if you love having this. Now, is there gonna be a Bespoke Z Fold 4? I haven't heard just yet, but I guess we'll wait and see if there is. Ice Universe is dropping some major news here about the Z Fold 3 versus the Fold 4, showing that the crease is taken at the same angle and it is much less than the Z Fold 4. Now, the, it just doesn't bug me at all, but when you look at this, you can definitely see this probably a what, 50 to 75% decrease in the crease overall. But in the grand scheme of things, is it gonna make the experience better? No, but I guess aesthetically, it's more pleasing. It's gonna make people more like, ooh, I like the, the less of a crease. It looks so good. So it'll make people happy. And overall, you know, that's a good thing. And more people might, you know, play with this at the store and be like, damn, this is sleek. This is cool. They really made some cool changes, even though it's literally just a little bit less of a crease in better cameras. Obviously, there's good things about the phone, but less of a crease is, in the grand scheme of things, not the most important thing. Also, IX Universe said that the energy efficiency performance of the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen, 8 Plus Gen 1, which will be in the Flip 4 and Fold 4, allows you to buy Android flagship phones with confidence in the second half of the year. So it sounds like when you get your Fold 4 or Flip 4 with this new processor for Qualcomm, that the overall performance and then, but more importantly, probably than anything, the efficiency of it is gonna be that much better. So I love to see that, you know, better performance, better battery life is really gonna feed into one of the great things about upgrading to the Flip and Fold 4. And then lastly, Anthony the Galax puts out that the Z Fold 4 and Flip 4 are gonna have new display materials. So they're gonna come with the M12 OLED organic material set. It's an improved version of the M11 OLED and the S22 Ultra. Now, I don't think necessarily this means that the Fold 4 and Flip 4 are gonna have better overall quality displays than the S22 Ultra. I think it just means that if you compare the Fold and Flip 4s versus the Fold and Flip 3s, that you're gonna see you know, or, or feel overall better quality with the newer generations of the devices. I think that's where it's really gonna come into play. Thanks for watching. Your question of the day is, what do you think is gonna be the, the most uh, insane thing about these upcoming phones in terms of like what most people are gonna be blown away by? Not what you are gonna be blown away by, but what most people are gonna be blown away by. I think it's gonna end up being the cameras, I think that's gonna be the biggest selling point that Samsung has to do with those phones. But let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. With that said, let's jump into the Q&A portion of the video and drop that beat. First question comes from Cletus Cassidy. I know the Fold 4 won't have the S Pen built in, but will it still be S Pen compatible? It should be. I would say yes, I haven't heard anything to the contrary that it wouldn't be. And then also when you factor in that the S22 Ultra had it built in and they're trying to put the S Pen on more devices like they mentioned a year or two ago, 
I'm gonna say yes, I would be 100, I'd be, I'm, I feel like I'm 99% right on that. And our last question comes from Tech R. It says, what's making you use the Fold 3 over the Vivo X Fold? Is it purely the software not being as flexible as the Fold 3? It's two reasons. Uh, the Vivo X Fold is not fully compatible with my carrier AT&T. And then the other one is that the software is just a little bit clunky feeling in terms of what I'm used to. It's not seemingly completely westernized and it's a bit of a turnoff in that regard. Um, so, I, and I love the Samsung software, so that's why it's making me keep that as my main, those two reasons are really the main reasons. Um, but overall, I love the Vivo X5. I love the hardware, I love the display, I love the charging speeds, I love the look of it. I think it's really, really awesome device. It's just not for me completely. Thanks for watching. If you have a question, leave it in the comments down below. Have a great day. We'll see you down the road. Peace.